in this video. I think I found the solution. That's huge. And once you get the hang of it, it becomes quite enjoyable. Hello and welcome to another episode of Auto Apples. Recently, the world has gone a little crazy. Everything's getting more expensive, especially energy prices, namely gas. So, like any responsible adult, I started looking for ways to save money in the household. And the number one expenditure, of course, is gasoline. I commute every day to work in one of my cars, especially if I drive the GX470, I'm going through two, two and a half gallons a day. And that adds up quickly. So, of course, you know, everyone says go get an electric car. However, I don't believe those are the solution. They are expensive. They don't have the best range. You have to charge them and the electricity comes from a plant that also uses fossil fuels or nuclear. And I don't think the technology is quite there yet. Hybrids, I mean, there isn't one that I personally like. Something fuel efficient and small. Prices have gone up so high on those vehicles that it really wasn't worth it. So I think I found a solution and I think it's personally I think it's time that we here in America start looking to this solution as pretty much the rest of the world has. It's the motorcycle. Now hear me out. I know a lot of people will say it's impractical, it's unsafe. Well the only reason it's unsafe is because of all the careless drivers out there for the most part. However, bear with me. If you're looking to save money, they're cheaper to run, cheaper to maintain, cheaper to insure, and as long as you're careful and you wear the proper gear, and maybe stick to roads that aren't as crazy, especially if you're new to riding, it can be quite enjoyable. Thankfully, I work in an area where I can take what is called Heinz Parkway. If you're from the Michigan area or Detroit area, you know what it is. It's a parkway, two lanes. I can take that for probably 90 or 85% of my journey. And that's a very nice ride and it's safe. It's just one lane each way. And it makes the ride in to work and home enjoyable. But here's the real thing that gets me. It is far less detrimental to the environment to produce and operate a motorcycle than it is to create and operate any hybrid or electric car. If you don't believe me, go look up the numbers. Take some time and look at how much pollution is created just to make the batteries for a hybrid or electric car and how much pollution is created to produce the energy needed to charge said vehicle. You'll be quite surprised. Now I know motorcycles, especially for those of us in the north, aren't practical year round, but that's fine. If you can get seven, eight, nine months out of the year where you're riding a motorcycle and spending less on fuel, if you multiply that by how many people commute to work alone, it makes a difference. And you can work things out. If you're not dropping off the kids, you're just riding into work. If you don't, if it's not pouring rain or bad weather, if you're not going shopping, it makes sense. What I've started doing is when I'm commuting to work and the weather is decent, I ride the bike. And if it's bad weather, I take the truck and I make sure I do whatever shopping is necessary. Possibly once a week or once every other week. And that reduced my gasoline expense by close to $300 a month. That's huge. 
I went to spending two and a half gallons a day on average, that's just work, not including other trips, to two and a half gallons a week. The motorcycle I bought, yeah, it's not some big bagger or Harley or something massive. It's not a scooter. It's still a proper motorcycle. It's a 2015 Honda CTX 700. It's the first bike I've ever had. I've never ridden a motorcycle before I bought this. Uh, it's nothing too fancy. It's got uh, mid-forward controls. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a very comfortable, upright, seated bike. You're not leaning forward, and I'm not a uh, spring chicken, so I didn't want any kind of crotch rocket or anything. It's relatively quiet. It's not a very loud bike. Here, let me start it for you. Ignition on, kill switch. It gets like 65, 70 miles to the gallon. Disc brakes, front and rear. It is chain driven. And you can see the engine is really low. It's a parallel twin. It's got a real low center of gravity. So it's a good, good beginner bike. Good commuter bike as well. I'm pushing 40 and I had never ridden a motorcycle until I brought that thing home. I didn't even ride it before I bought it. I sat on it. I liked the way it felt. It was easy to balance. So I called up a buddy of mine and I had him ride it home for me and then he taught me how. And from the time I bought it to I got my endorsement was 10 days. Every night I'd come home from work, I'd ride it around the neighborhood a little bit. I'd learn. I got my permit, my training permit, of course. And slowly but surely, I got the hang of it. And once you get the hang of it, it becomes quite enjoyable. The other reason why I truly feel it's important that everyone who is able to ride a motorcycle at some point in their lives is because your attitude of driving will change. As I started to ride, not saying that I was a careless driver before, but you really start to realize how poorly people drive out there and how little attention they pay. Always on their phone, checking this, checking that, always doing something, never paying attention. You start to realize that, and then when you get behind the wheel of a four-wheeled vehicle, you start paying more attention to everything around you. You start looking for motorcycles. There's something they call unintentional blindness, and it's real. People aren't looking for you. They're looking for cars so they don't see you. So you become a better driver, you become more aware, more awake, more courteous in some cases, even if you're lucky. So not only is it possible to solve the energy crisis if we all pitched in a little, but by becoming less distracted and more aware of our surroundings, we might even have a chance at becoming better people. I know it's a stretch because some people, there's no hope, but hey, it's worth a try, right? I don't know. What do you think? I personally think it's a great idea. And this is coming from somebody who said all their life, I'll never ride a motorcycle. I'll never ride a motorcycle. And then one day I said, you know what? Let me give it a shot. And it's awesome. It really is. For some people, especially younger guys, I'd say be very careful. Don't get something that's very powerful. Learn your way in slowly. But it's an option that's out there readily available and the rest of the world does it. 
How many other countries you go and you see, everyone's on a scooter or a motorcycle. They use far less gas. They create far less pollution. I mean, think of it, countries that are so heavily populated all over the world, and they ride motorcycles and they don't produce the kind of pollution that other countries may produce. It's, it's something to think about. What do you think? Sound off in the comments. Let me know. Do you think it's feasible or do you think it's a bunch of baloney? And do some research. Look into the numbers. Maybe I'll do another video where I'll actually go over the numbers. But when I was studying and researching, it was something like just to produce the battery alone for a hybrid, not an electric car, which is bigger, the amount of pollution that it produces into the environment is worse or just as bad as your typical V8 SUV running for something like 80 to 100,000 miles. That's significant. And then you still have to calculate the gas that the hybrid will still burn and the uh, fuel burned to produce the electricity to power it if it's a plug-in or if it's a fully electric car. So, let me know what you think. And as always, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.